Okay, we're going to be using the counting method to um, divide 2,343 divided by 11. So I'm going to set my divisor, which is 11 on the far left-hand side of my abacus, and it's a 1 and a 1. And I'm going to set my dividend, 2,343, on the far right-hand side of my abacus. So 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to start by comparing my divisor to my dividend. And so I have two numbers in my divisor. And so the one and a one, and then in my dividend, I'm going to compare it to, to the first two numbers here in my dividend. So is 11 smaller than 23? Yes, it is. So if the divisor is smaller than the dividend, then I'm going to skip a rod and I'm going to start over here in my hundred thousands rod. Okay, so how many times does 11 go into 23? Well, I'm going to say two, and I'm going to say two times 22 is, oh, it's two times 11 is 22, and I'm going to subtract, uh, subtract the one, two of the 20 and the one, two of the, tw of the two. And so now I'm going to compare these two digits of my dividend to my divisor again. And I see that it is smaller. My divisor is smaller than 13. Oh, oh sorry, 14, a one and a four. So I'm gonna skip a rod. I'm gonna start in the 10,000s place. And I'm going to say, how many times does 11 go into 14? It's one time. And so one times 11 is 11. So 14 minus 11 is one and a one. Okay, and now I'm in the tens rod and I'm going to compare my divisor to my dividend again. And 11 is smaller than 33, so I'm gonna skip a rod. I'm gonna start here in my thousands rod. And I'm gonna say how many 11s go into 33? It's three, one, two, three. And I'm going to multiply three times 11. Three times 11 is 33. So I'm minus 30, 1, 2, 3, 30, and 3, 1, 2, 3. And I read my, I read my quotient now, and that's 213. And so if I did have a remainder, I would have a space here, and then I would have two rods on which I could write the remainder. For example, if the remainder were 10, I could have a remainder and a 10 here. So that's leaving enough space for the remainder because there is a two digit divisor. And that was a counting method on the abacus for a two digit divisor.